One more. One more. Let's get it. Let's go. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Gabe. We're back again with another video. <laughs> what is going on, everyone? It's your boy Gabe. Today, I'm going to be doing my own personal review on this 2021 Model 3 Tesla. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's one underscore more 97. And shout out to Adam. So follow him on Instagram also. He was the one who lent me this car. This is his Tesla. So shout out to Adam for letting me do this review on it. Other than that, let's get to it. So first we're gonna look at the exterior of the car. This is the 2021 base model Tesla Model 3. This Tesla came with the base wheels. This one is tinted. He recently got the tents done on this one, but it does not come tinted. There might be an option. You would have to look that for yourself. So my favorite thing about the exterior, honestly, is like how simple it looks. This thing looks really, really simple, all right? It doesn't have too much going on. And then there's a lot of cameras. There's a camera here. There's a camera there, right here, right here, right there. And I can imagine I'm missing some more cameras also, but I just don't know where they are. But we'll get to check on the screen once we get in the car. Another one of my favorite things that I like about this car is the panoramic roof. Look at that. It's a nice moon roof. Look at that. It's literally the window and it just turns into the roof. I think that's one of my favorite things on the outside of the car. I'm going to show you guys how to enter the Model 3. All right. So first things first, it comes with this, with this key card. All right. It comes with this key card. And all you're simply going to do is you're just going to hold it to the bottom of the glass the door just like that you can hear a little honk doors open simple as that now on the inside it's very simple i don't know if you guys ever heard uh simplicity is key dude it's very very simple on the inside you just got one screen and you got the steering wheel all right and then look at the moonroof look at the moonroof Literally, this is my favorite thing about the car, honestly. And it's very plain. You can get them in white seats, and I believe you can get them in black. And in order to start the car, I'm just gonna put this bad boy right here. All right, I'm in. And then you're gonna put your foot on the brake. Once you put your foot on the brake, it adjusts to your seat, however you have your seat. And then you're just gonna push this down, and you're gonna see it says D. D means drive. So now if I wanted to, I'd be able to move forward. Simply to put it in park, there's a P right there. You're just going to press it and boom, it goes back into park. And then the seat pushes it, pushes you back and you get relaxed. And to simply turn off the car, all you're going to do is make sure it's in park. It's going to go back out. You're going to take the key card. You're going to get out. And you're going to put it right under the camera. And boom, your car's off. Another one of my favorite things about this car is me being able to charge it. Look at this. Just like that. And it's charging. I think that's pretty cool. I like this, uh, I like this screen. It's very responsive. Alright. Um, let's click on let's click on this right here. Alright, let's see how many cameras this thing has. So all I'm gonna do is put my foot on the brake. And I'm gonna put reverse. And these are all the cameras. So this is the back camera that I showed you guys. These were on the fender of the cars. Like I said, this is gonna be my own personal review. I obviously don't know too much about this car, but uh, we're gonna roam around, all right? We're gonna roam around and we're gonna see. This is could tells you your PSI. We're gonna see what we could learn in this car. So from being in this car before, I do know if you wanna mess with the temp, you can go like that. So there's no buttons or anything if you want to make the air go higher or lower. So you're just going to go like that and you're going to go up and down. So if you want the air to go low, you'll just go like that. If you want the air to go up, you're going to go like that. If you want it to go sideways, you'll go like that. I think that's pretty cool, actually. And to raise it up, you're just going to press this button right here. You can hear it get louder. And you're going to simply go back. I think this is pretty dope. 
Let's look at the other stuff and see what we got. So it seems like the Tesla also comes with heated seats. Would have been nice if it came with AC in the seats. That would be dope. All right, so let's see what this button does. Oh, this shows you the cameras. I think that's pretty cool. So you can look at the cameras while you're driving. This is for the windshield wiper. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. So if you click this button and you click on charging, it'll show you how much charge your car has. This is crazy. Honestly, I've, I've seen a couple cars stranded on the highway because they ran out of battery. So honestly, if you're gonna own a Tesla, please charge it because this thing will turn off on you. And this is me searching the web. Oh wait, look at that. So I clicked on YouTube and look. That's dope. Yeah, oh wait, look at that. There goes your boy. So another cool thing about this car is you could open the trunk and the front <laughs> from inside the car. That's what they call the front because there's no engine. So it's like an extra cargo space as you guys can see. So you just simply press that button. That's open. press this button you can see the trunk opens look at that the cool thing about this is you can close it just by pressing the button but for the front you're actually going to get out and have to push it down yourself another cool thing about this car is the entertainment system look at this if you're sitting around waiting for your mom to come out the store Look at all the stuff that you can do. All these games that you could probably play. I find this extremely cool. There's a theater version. You can go on Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Twitch, whatever. I think this is mad cool, honestly. If I had this when I was younger, I wouldn't have been so bored every single time I'm went into the store taking 10 years. But honestly, this car is on my list of next cars to get. So we're going to move this car now. We're going to make it go forward. Foot is on the brake. Just gonna put this all the way down. It says D. Now I can move. It's got your miles per hour right here. You can see the car right there. I kid you not, the only thing you can probably hear is the wind. Every single time you take your foot off the gas, the car like automatically stops. It's weird. It's like you don't even have to press the brake if you don't want to. And to simply stop it, put on a brake, and you're just gonna press this button. Boom, and now it's in park. Now, honestly, would I get this car? Yeah, I probably would. I do want this car. Um, just for the fact of, you know, sometimes it's annoying to pump gas, um, having to stop, pump gas, having to make that decision. Like, you know, on your way home, it's late, your tank's on E, damn it, should I get gas now or should I get gas in the morning? And if you don't get gas now, you're gonna be late for whatever in the morning because you have to stop to get gas. Um, this kind of takes that factor out of it get home plug it in charge go to bed wake up next morning boom it's charged um obviously this car is very it's very cool it's not like your normal car although these cars have been out for a while um it's not it's not your normal car not everyone has a tesla but they've been coming more common and um more affordable kind of i guess i can say so the average person could get it but i'm still learning about the car myself i'm sure there are a lot of things that i probably you know didn't touch on so I hope this video was somewhat informative to you guys. Um, if it was, I'm glad. If it wasn't, um, you could add what you know in the comment section below. Please don't try to degrade me, all right? I'm not Elon. I don't know everything about Teslas, but I do know I want one, and I do know how to get in one. I know how to get out, and I know how to turn it on, and I know how to turn it off. So I guess that's basically what you need uh, to know if you want to get a Tesla. 
but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. That's one underscore more 97. And uh, make sure you guys follow Adam. This is his Tesla. Shouts out to Adam for letting me do a review on it. I did a video with Adam on this car a couple months ago. I think I gave it a nine or eight because this roof couldn't open. And as I've been seeing it more, um, I just started to fall in love with it a lot more. I'm probably gonna have to give this car a 10 out of 10, honestly, because lately I've been so lazy to pump my gas. And honestly, if I can take that out of the factor, that'll be dope. It'll be just like your phone. You know, charge it, wake up in the morning, boom, you could use it, full charge. But make sure you guys stay tuned. I do have some more videos coming out, um, different cars that I'm getting into. I still got the workout videos coming. These videos seem to be doing a lot better than the workout videos. So I'm probably gonna lean on to this more, but if you've been supporting me from day one, appreciate you. If you're new, uh, please hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna try to get my hands on any car I can get that are actually good and um i'm gonna do my own personal review on it but anyways make sure you guys follow me on instagram that's one underscore more 97 and other than that we out because my jumper is water bad give me one more got a clean rep give me one more got a prezi jet mount rush more one more set need one more got a bad give me one more got a clean rep give me one more got a prezi jet mount rush more one more set